Welcome everyone. My name is Richard Reynolds and I'm going to talk about BURST today. I've been in BI for many years. I'm currently the Analytics Director of Enablement at BURST. I've been at BURST for six years. I've also been in BI for nearly 30 years in a variety of different roles, including sales consultant, trainer, data warehousing, uh, and looking forward to presenting to you today. Also joining me on today's call, Sharon Humash. She as well has been in BI for many years, supporting partners, has been at Burst for a long time. She and I worked together for many years. So what is Burst? And what do we think about business intelligence? Well, we fundamentally believe that BI isn't working for everyone. Uh, on the left, uh, we represent uh, the category of BI tools we consider to be centralized in nature. They're IT centric. They generally have a heavy lift. Uh, they have a steep learning curve. The, um, the tools typically require uh, uh, expensive and time consuming, uh, and they really exclude decentralized data. The data that end users might bring in spreadsheets or might bring from cloud sources. The centralized solutions absolutely excel at governance and consistency, uh, but the exclusion of this decentralized data really prevents them uh, from adding value to most organizations. Uh, on the right, we see the category of tools known as decentralized, right? These are designed for analysts working with disconnected data silos, right? So. They might have a spreadsheet or a, uh, an application or cloud source that they want to understand better. They'll connect to it and quickly uh, develop analytics on it. Uh, unfortunately, these tend to be disconnected, inconsistent, uh, duplicated in nature, have multiple different uh, um, descriptions of the metadata. And for an IT organization looking to integrate something like this into a larger organization, they have a, a, a really an inability to scale uh, consistently to a large group. So if you're familiar with, with the BI market, uh, you probably recognize some of the logos on the screen. Uh, and the vast majority of them uh, excel at a very much of a point solution. They're, they're good at one particular thing. Uh, and they really uh, don't um, satisfy the entirety of a customer's problem, right? Uh, the, the point with Burst is that uh, we've tried to tackle the entire problem, uh, and we, as a result, have replaced every one of these solutions uh, uh, over our history, right? So it's not just, uh, Burst isn't just focused on uh, the front end visualization or the data modeling or the storage, we've tackled the entire problem, which means we can not only replace one, but we can replace many tools uh, in a single customer, right? So another way to look at it is in the upper left-hand corner, you have uh, the many centralized BI tools. They're very strong at supporting large organizations. Uh, unfortunately, it takes a good amount of time, as indicated by the time to value on the lower axes, a good amount of time to deliver results and value. Uh, that challenge is what spawned the entire market for data discovery tools, which could be quickly downloaded, uh, installed on a local desktop, uh, and connected to sources. Those tools are fantastic for that particular use case. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't scale beyond, much beyond an individual or a team. In the upper right-hand corner, we'll represent Burst as being able to, to both scale to a large organization as well as being able to deliver value quickly uh, to, to both end users for both small and large companies. In 2017, a Burst was acquired by Infor. Infor at the time was lacking a, an analytics solution for their stack of applications and uh, needed uh, a product that fit into that. Burst fit in hand and glove. So Burst uh, was born in the cloud. So unlike many of the other tools that you might be familiar with, which started out as desktop products and were later made single tenant 
cloud products. Burst from the very beginning was a is a multi-tenant cloud product. Not only that, it contains the ability to uh, satisfy the entire uh, breadth of a BI project from connecting to data, from the ETL process of extracting the data from various sources, from integrating it together, to managing the pipeline, to building the enterprise uh, analytic data model, to providing capabilities for end users to prepare their own data, as well as the more traditional visualization, reporting, uh, and analysis tools. So the entire stack is something that Infor was looking for in a single product and Burst delivered on that. Uh, as a result, Burst is a top ranked product amongst the analysts. If you're familiar with the Gartner Quadrant or the Forrester Report, Burst is consistently ranked uh, on those reports. Those reports really only contain the top 20 or so vendors and Burst always appears in those rankings. Uh, Burst, both the people as well as the product comes from a culture of innovation. Uh, Burst has two US patents uh, to its name, as well as a, a staff of people that have many years uh, in the BI industry. And finally, Burst is not a desktop tool. Burst is an enterprise class, multi-tenant application uh, that is designed to scale uh, to large organizations economically. You will absolutely not outgrow the capabilities of Burst. So how is Burst different and better? So I mentioned Burst uh, was based on a multi-tenant cloud architecture. That's absolutely the case, right? So instead of installing software uh, and managing that software and managing the infrastructure uh, to achieve your analytic results, Burst handles that entire problem. So you don't ever have to think about backups or upgrades or uh, disaster recovery at any point. All of that is managed uh, in the Burst environment. Uh, not only Burst offers a cloud product, uh, Burst is also available for local installation in the form of a, of a, uh, a virtual software appliance. So uh, there's lots of ways that Burst can be deployed. It's very flexible in terms of its deployment architecture. I mentioned Burst's uh, patents. So Burst, one of them involves Burst's ability to automatically model the, uh, the transaction data into a star schema. So Burst provides a graphical interface for the administrator to automatically select the key dimensions and measures uh, in any particular application and Burst uh, with, the, with the administrator's guidance, will automatically develop the DDL uh, and then build out the table structure necessary in the target database to support the analytic needs of the users. As new sources come along, uh, the data model can be uh, updated quickly. Uh, the data pipeline can be modified quickly. Uh, as opposed to a variety of the, the competitive tools, which are slow to deploy, uh, and as new sources come along, uh, would be very challenging to add those new sources. So it requires lots of people. Burst uh, requires a, a, a minimum of staff to achieve a substantial result. Burst also provides uh, to end users uh, trusted and connected data. So the, the, uh, the term semantic layer is something Burst uh, absolutely has. Burst has the ability for end users simply to drag and drop attributes and measures. It forms consistent results displayed in graphical or tabular format. Uh, and as different work groups build out their portion of the data model, Burst automatically uh, integrates those, those pieces in from different work groups uh, and allows really a network fabric of analytics to be built out across an organization. By contrast, the various uh, data discovery tools tend to create lots of different silos, which are difficult to maintain uh, and hard for users to find the correct answer with so many duplicated uh, data sources across the enterprise. Burst also uh, is integrated with Infor's Coleman application. Uh, this allows uh, Burst to automatically understand the data 
uh, and generate insights relative to a KPI uh, that a user selects. So instead of having to manually build uh, dozens of reports to try to understand the significance of any particular dimension, first automates that report creation process using artificial intelligence uh, along the way. This in contrast to uh, having to hire a series of data, data scientists to produce one-off analysis. First automates that process. And finally, as a culture, uh, Burst is uh, focused on a customer's success, as opposed to simply being a, a tool that can create pretty charts and graphs. Burst is focused on helping you as a customer build out uh, an, a, both the skill set as well as an application to help you move the needle financially uh, within your organization. So dashboards aren't simply uh, tables and charts, but they are tools to help you uh, improve the performance of your business. We teach you how to do that uh, consistently uh, so that you get great results from your analytic application. So we believe as an organization that every uh, company should be data driven. You should use data to your advantage uh, and that uh, getting to the answer fast is better when the answer is correct. And finally, people making decisions in an interconnected way makes everyone smarter. So our mission is to help companies drive better business outcomes to empower every employee to make better and smarter decisions, regardless of your role, uh, through a platform that is agile, automated, connected, smart, and results focused. So let's jump in and look at a typical customer's reality, right? So many customers start out with the concept of, well, we need to assemble an enterprise data warehouse or a data lake uh, and we need to staff that uh, such that we can source data from a variety of applications, whether it's transactional, whether it's file or cube or Hadoop. And we need to integrate that into a single location, a data warehouse, for example. Uh, we then need to uh, attach to it a semantic layer uh, such that users can uh, quickly find information. And finally, we need to uh, acquire a BI interface, reporting interface for creating dashboards and reports. Projects like this have been built out for the last 30 years. Uh, the challenge is that uh, they're very brittle in nature, right? So they tend to take a long time to develop. They are consistent in terms of what they can deliver, but they're not particularly flexible. They're expensive to develop, and as a result, uh, of, of the brittle nature, they tend to only get about 25% adoption uh, of any particular company. Why is that adoption so low? Well, it's because uh, the data landscape changes so quickly in most organizations. Uh, new sources, as in line of business owned data, can quickly come along. And IT simply didn't think about that particular source. It, it wasn't an initial scope. Uh, and they uh, and they and they simply can't include it. So uh, as a result, this particular source gets downloaded to Excel. It starts to be excluded uh, from the big vision. Right. Another scenario is well, a group comes along and they want to extract a subset of the enterprise data warehouse. Right. And they want to do it multiple different times, and then they want to acquire a separate BI tool to be able to uh, to do. Uh, query that particular information. So that might be a mobile tool or a visualization tool or a dashboard tool. So you start to build up both uh, silos of data as well as different tools to query that same data, right? Um, and so uh, even with these with these uh, decentralized tools, you really don't get uh, the true value either. They do deliver answers quickly. They do uh, engage decentralized data, but unfortunately, the user engagement, even with the decentralized tools, uh, doesn't really go above about 20%, right? And so this, this also does not solve the problem, right? So we feel at Burst that we have a better way uh, using a shared model, right? So uh, by integrating the, uh, the network BI capabilities crossing a variety of different data sources without 
copying it, uh, we can um, we can do or re reduce the data duplication. We have a, a BI tool for every type of analysis. So whether it's mobile, whether it's dashboard or push reports or um, or third party tool access, we have a tool for that interface. So you don't necessarily have to go outside of the burst uh, user interface uh, family uh, to, to satisfy end user request. We have automation to accelerate the data modeling process. So as new sources come along as they inevitably do, uh, you have the interface to be able to connect to it, to be able to integrate it in, to be able to make it fit with the existing data model without starting over or starting from scratch. Uh, if end users want to do that data modeling themselves, we have an end user interface uh, to make that possible, to integrate in their sources or their spreadsheets into the environment. The, the semantic layer uh, becomes part of that. So the semantic layer allows them to quickly uh, uh, query their sources of data without necessarily copying it or duplicating it. Uh, reports are automatically generated uh, through uh, the, the smart analytics, uh, and it's delivered in a full stack cloud architecture. So what does that look like in terms of the burst architecture, right? Across the bottom are the, uh, the variety and examples of different sources that burst can connect to. Uh, the, uh, the process of connection is either through ingestion. So burst can ingest the data through the courtesy of automated data refinement that includes both um, that's the ETL aspect of it, as well as the data modeling aspect. Uh, Burst can also connect to sources directly through the live access method without necessarily moving data. Both methods can be used uh, in a single project. In the automated data refinement, Burst can physically store the data in a relational database and query it uh, via the network semantic layer, right? So you're not duplicating data, you're simply sharing it across a variety of users. Across the top are the different uh, visualization methods, whether it's uh, dashboards or, or mobile or push reporting. Uh, Burst has interfaces for that users, guaranteeing consistent access uh, through the same semantic layer. Burst can also be embedded into any, uh, any web-based application. So if you wanna white label it inside of a of a portal or inside of your application, uh, many many Burst customers do that. If you want to use the third-party tool, right? We don't want to use the Burst front end. We want to use uh, our own or a, a, a tool that we already use, but leverage the Burst back end. Burst is also supports that uh, as well. So let's get a a brief look uh, of some of the capabilities of Burst with a brief Burst demo. So. Jumping into this, we're looking at a Burst dashboard, right? Uh, we're looking at the user browse about the uh, the interface, uh, focusing in on uh, the, the filters that they've selected at the top, right? We can see that it's looking at a particular group of apartments and we want more information about the margin metric, right? So Smart Insights is that automated, uh, um, artificial intelligence capability to give us more information about what attributes are most related to, in this case, the margin metric, right? So we can browse the semantic layer on the, on the right-hand side, selecting uh, different attributes, which we think might be related to this margin metric. So we don't have to run a series of queries, let's run one just run that one query and not only does it run the query across all those attributes but it automatically builds reports uh, from what we've selected that we can both view look at uh, but get an idea is is this particular attribute in this case uh, site uh, related in a significant way uh, to margin well the significance is highlighted here in the importance score Right, we, so we can see uh, the department attribute uh, probably is the most important relative to uh, the, the margin metric, right? We break it down two levels deep, we can see that both site and department are significant. Now, let's say we wanted to, uh, to integrate in 
additional data into this uh, screen, into these reports, but we didn't necessarily have the data in our existing data model. Well, that too is built in uh, into Burst. So, uh, so we want to bring in a couple different sources of data. One would be a spreadsheet, right? So we'll select that spreadsheet. We're going to automatically import into the environment. We're going to process it. We're going to relate it to an existing data source we have. So here we're bringing in hospital information. We're then going to jump over to another source of data, a network source that potentially another work group or, or coworker has built. And here we're selecting information about patients, right? We're going to connect to it and we're going to relate that in as well, right? So now instead of just a single visit information, we've grabbed uh, hospital information from a spreadsheet. We've grabbed patient information from, uh, from uh, another uh, network source. And we're going to go back into Smart Insights, uh, Smart Analytics, uh, and do further analysis on those new attributes to get better information uh, that we may not have understood if we just simply used what was provided by this central group, right? So we'll select um, those additional attributes. Uh, and here it's highlighting uh, the fact that sure enough, the, the information about uh, at the observation at the department level was new information and we wouldn't have gotten otherwise had we not been able to quickly integrate uh, that information from the spreadsheet and the network source, right? So with that, I will um, exit the, uh, the demo. And uh, our next uh, um, section will be customer success stories uh, with Burst, so actual use cases uh, using the Burst product.